Okay, so welcome back to the ethics method. Where many of you uh, met me already in London what, last month, and we were lecturing on, on our methodology. It's a very precise method on how to trade, and basically also how to do the transition from manual trading to automated trading, which is actually not a very simple transition. So today we, we will, on a, on a manual system, and the very specifics of it, I'm going to show you at the very end of the of the presentation of the webinar how exactly this translates into a robot. I'm going to show you the results, and uh, those of you that already opened the account uh, with Axi Trader have already the template in the pen drive. If you guys have some issues finding the template or installing the template onto your MetaTrader, no problem. Write to Olga on our email and she will assist you with the, with the installation and use of the template. So you can actually fire with this trading system and trade it and I'm going to show you as well uh, the results of the trading system uh, on the last three months, uh, audited results at the end of the, of the presentation so you can see that it, it's trading quite well, especially on the Aussie crosses. Uh, such as uh, Aussie New Zealand and Aussie Swiss franc. The trading system originally was designed for, for the cable, uh, sterling pound against the dollar, but uh, it's trading better in the last months on Aussie crosses. Okay, this happens over time that the markets change and an originally designed trading system for the cable is trading now better for another, another, another pair. Okay, I'm going to start. There's people coming late, so I cannot do anything about that. So, the, the main point is you, you cannot keep doing the same things the same way. If you were doing, if you're trading in a very specific way and it was not giving you good results, or you were just maintaining the, the account, you need to really consider changing completely your approach to trading, and that's where we come in. Uh, we recommend you to do the advanced education we have in our trading lab over five days. We'll be doing that in February. There's already a group of people that want to do that, and we'll be talking to you further as, as there's more people also approaching us to do a bigger group, okay? So the main thing what we saw, I'm, I'm going very fast over this in one more gate, is that the best way to enter trading is really not from the bottom of the pyramid, and one of the ideas that I gave you is that you start with trading systems. Uh, it's even better to start as a trading system analyst, and today we will give you a very specific trading system. It's a, it's a breakout system, and it's very easy to trade. You can trade it manually, you can do a robot, it's inexpensive. You can go to whichever side and order any programmer in Eastern Europe will do this for 50, 60, maximum 80 pounds, will do this trading system for you. Okay, but you need to do know the precise rules of the trading system, and after that you need as well to learn to optimize it, which is not that easy. So my recommendation is that you start trading in a different way, that you start thinking in, in terms of trading systems, okay? If you guys have some questions, you can interrupt me, I, I don't mind, uh, as long as it's, it's not 10 people interrupting at the same time, but I'm going to read a lot of the questions, and there's no issues. You don't need to wait till the end to ask your questions. So, we need to understand, first of all, what is a trading system and what, what, what is not a trading system. So, a trading system has very specific parts, and we need to know which are the parts of the trading system, and uh, more precisely, on this trading system, we will, we will show uh, the specific parts of this trading system. I, I, I will give you four legs out of this trading system, which is the entry rules, the exit rules, two filters, and a position management. I'm not going to enter about money management on this trading system because we'll, we'll keep it simple, but I'm going to give you the very specific rules. If you want the template of the trading system, very quickly, you can just open an account with Axi Trader and you'll get additionally another two free EAs, and this template will be uh, included. Uh, I will show you the, how it looks on the platform and you could be trading immediately live the trading system. Okay, what, what is actually a, a trading system? What makes it distinct from just trading or technical analysis? It's that it's univocal, that means we have one unique definition that everybody here in the room understands the same. It's 100% replicable, that means that 
whomever is in the room, James, for example, and Paul, they would trade, there's two Pauls actually in the room in, in the webinar today, <laughs> they would trade exactly the same rules, you know, and it's therefore, or hence, it's 100% automatable. So when you have a real trading system, uh, you can convert it into a robot. And that's very, very exciting and very interesting. So it's very important that when you are doing trading, you, you, you have trading systems. If you cannot 100% convert it into a, a robot, a trading strategy, and a trading strategy is not the same as a trading system because it's not 100% automatable. So this is very, very important. There is guys coming late, so just so you know, we're talking about trading systems, and the, the difference between a trading system and a trading, uh, the difference is that it's 100% automatable, while a trading strategy is not necessarily 100% automatable. Only part of it is automatable. So what are the six legs that any trading system should have, or if not, at least three of them? The first leg is the entry rules. Any trading system should have a very precise entry rules, and we will know that entry rules consist always uh, from two parts. Okay, it should have very precise exit rules. It should have filters. It should have position management, money management, and risk management. If it doesn't have all six, it's not a big deal, but it should have at least three of them. It's like a table. I wouldn't consider a table with two legs. It wouldn't be a table, right? So you should always check that your trading system is robust, and this is checked that you have at least three of them. Classical trading system will have just entry rules, exit rules, and filters. That's fine. You can trade that. And more modern trading systems will have position management included to it, and money management. And one sub-chapter of money management is the risk management. But just keep in mind, we'll have another trading system next week. I think, I reckon it was next week. I don't remember. You got an email with the four webinars. This webinar series, we will do more after. And I think the last one was not this week, the other week, uh, the week, the week after next one. I don't remember the dates, actually. 23rd. Okay, I'm being told it's 23rd Monday. I recommend you that you come back on Monday 23rd. We'll check out a completely different trading system. It's going to be a scalper. It's going to be a classical scalping system in the Asian session, a night scalper. And you can as well automate it. Okay, so let's go to the important part now. <laughs> the former part was basically presentation. A, a trading system has, must have very clear entry rules, and an entry rule always consists of two parts, which is the heart and the trigger, or the setup and the confirmation. I don't really care how you call them. There's many ways to call them. There's people that call them, call them setup and trigger. For me, the names are not so important. Uh, what is important is really the logics behind it. And the heart is basically the setup. It tells you, for example, it makes no sense if you're trading, for example, a breakout system, uh, it would be very important to check if there's enough volatility for this breakout, and hence I'm going to show you today a very classical way of trading breakouts, a very strong and smart idea how to, to trade the breakouts using volatility. So it's very important that if you're trading, in this case, a breakout, you have the right setup for it. If you would be trading a scalper, you would watch for a completely different setup. So the setup is basically a way to look at market conditions. And we do this with very precise rules. We say, okay, we can consider a breakout if there's this precise rules being taken care of. If these rules are not really happening, we don't have the right setup, so we don't trade at all. So the setup is the first part you need to have before you can trade at all. And then you need a trigger or something that confirms, yes, we are in the right moment, we are in the right market, and I give this example in one more gate, like, for example, if you want to hunt bears, or I was talking about elephants, you rather should be in Botswana and not be watching for elephants in Siberia, for example, and if you're hunting bears, you should be watching for them in Siberia, kind of. So this is the setup. Are we in the right market conditions? Are we in the right timing, in the right moment? 
that, that's all set up considerations. And the trigger is when we see the beer, when we see the actual elephant in Botswana, then we can fire. So it's two different parts and we really need to distinguish them. And these parts use in code the ant logic. That means we are in Botswana and we see an elephant. Great. We are in Siberia and we see a beer. Okay, we can fire. So it's always when we are considering the entry rules, we are talking in ant logic. It's rare to find a trading system that has an or logic in the entry rules. Okay. Please stop me because some people are new. Some people were in the London event and some people were in other London events and some people are completely new and if you, it's the moment to just write whatever doubts you have in the chat and I'm going to answer them because it's very important that you get the concepts. So a classical way of trading this would be just taking two moving averages and just checking that they cross each other that the short, for example, moving average is above the long moving average, then we would have a sell signal. I'm not going to draw it. I think it's quite quite basic, actually. But if you don't see it so clear, I can go to MetaTrader and, and show you. Okay? And we confirm this with an oscillator, for example, an RSI. That would be a, cl a classical wave, a trend, but or taking a MACD or something of the sort. In this case, it's very, very different. Uh, the very precise rules of the trading system, I'm going to write them in blue. So every time you see a slide in blue, it's the very precise rules of this trading system. Okay? When I'm talking generically, or oh, I'm talking just about theory, it's going to be written in black. And when I'm talking about the very precise, in this case, VCB trading system, volatility channel breakout, we shorten that to VCB, it's faster. And we know that it's just not any breakout, it's a, a channel that gets broken by volatility. So we, we shorten this to VCB, and it's very easy to understand what we're talking about. Uh, within traders, we, we, we have these short codes, and we know what kind of breakout system we're talking about. So we will, we will I'm going to put now the MetaTrader, but basically what we are doing here is, I'm going to put now the MetaTrader, okay? One second, because we are also recording at the same time, and I'm going to try to make my screen, I'm going to try to adapt my screen, just give me one second, I'm going to adapt the screen, don't worry about the recording, I'm going to try to adapt to the screen, one second, and then next time we'll have the right format, okay, I think it's pretty much adapted, right? Okay. So, there we go. So, this is the template. I don't want to confuse you very much with it. I'm going to start taking off things from here. And I'm going to take this blue line out of here. So, you're not confused. And I'm going to take, as well, this yellow line from here. And I want you to just watch and consider this raw system. Uh, it's my mistake. It should be trading now, for example, EURUSVC. Or, let's take the cable. And how you're going to work with this is very simple. You're going to have a file in the, temp, in the pen drive once you open the account with, I left the pen drives in London, in Cannon Street. You just call whatever Axie Trader, you open your account. I'm talking just for the people that didn't do it yet. And you'll find a file, it's called VCB Sys. You see it here? It's called VCB Sys. Uh, volatility channel breakout system dot TPL. TPL stands for template. And you're just going to go here, file. This has been recorded, so don't worry. Uh, we are going to put it up in our YouTube channel, I hope, uh, beginning of next week. We need to edit it, maybe, maybe not. So you just open here, I repeat that again, file, open data folder, you'll see this, something like this, and then you'll go in here, MQL4, and you will have here, you should have here, where are the templates? Libraries, presets, uh, one up, sorry. Templates are here, in the root. You need to install it here. You need to drag it from the pen drive and put the TPL file in the templates folder. Okay, I'm going to repeat that again. 
there is a templates folder at the root, not inside mql4, that was my mistake. You drag from the pen drive the template and drop it here. Close your MetaTrader and open it again, and you will see it already. Okay, is that clear? So once, once you open any chart, let's say I'm going to open here a pound, sterling, I mean the cable chart, this is being traded uh, on one hour time frame. So we're going to look at the charts only every hour, which is great. Otherwise, it's going to be too hectic to look at the charts every 15 minutes. It works also on M30, and it works as well on H4. But we have found out the best time frame is one hour. So you basically will have the template here, right mouse button, template, quality channel breakout system, click, and I automatically uploaded the template. I'm going to go back to the simple template without the, the, the lila and the orange line, not to confuse you, and I'm going to explain what it means. Basically, we have here a channel formed by a moving average of 30 periods, which is based on the maximums, exponential, you see, on the highs, okay? And the lower part of the channel, it's going to be based on the lows. What are we doing here? We are creating a channel, as you can see, where the upper part of the channel is calculating on the highs, you know, these points here, I don't know. I'm going to draw it here. This point, this point here. If you don't see well, tell me. I can really make it bigger. And this, the average, is going to give me this line. And then the lower part, I'm going to change the color here. I'm, co I'm going to consider the lows. You see these points here? Of every one hour time frame. Every one hour candle, sorry. And I'm going to make a moving average, and it's going to give me this lower line. I don't know if you can see the colors. And you get the point here. And what we got here is a channel. And what we are going to do is we are going to trade when the channel breaks. That means when the price is going either upwards or down, downwards from the channel. It's the total opposite to range trading. We want we wanted to break this channel with force, okay? And we're looking for those opportunities where it's breaking the channel here downwards. That's a good opportunity, actually, this one, okay? Or an even greater opportunity happens here. You see the breakout, and it really continues up the channel for a very long while. If I check out the first candle that really breaks the, from the channel, till it crosses the channel I have here 260 points and this happened on why I'm in, in 2005 my goodness sorry I thought I was in 2015 <laughs> you know sorry okay so let's watch recent moment here and we have here I'm going to take off these lines here just you need to delete them in your template because they are only confusing this green line and this red line. Okay, so here we see, for example, a good breakout on the 11th of November, 12th. You see? Okay, so you're looking for the setup is I'm going to have a candle opening above the channel or I'm going to have a candle opening below the channel and we are going to be more concrete on this rule. I'm going to give you now the exact concrete rule is that we look for candles opening above the channel or ca candles opening below the channel, but we need to confirm that there is volatility. So we will do that with this indicator here below. I'm going to close here the back tester because now we're talking just about the raw manual strategy. And we're going to confirm it when the blue line here is above the gray line. I'm going to explain what it means later. It means that the ATR, the average to range, which is a measure of the movement of the price, the ATR tells me how many pips in the last 30 periods will go here with the crosshair, you see. 
Did the bar open above the channel? No, it didn't. Bar open, the candle open above the channel? No, it didn't. Did the bar open above the channel? Yes, it did. Is blue above gray? Yes. Why? Do you follow? Okay, so this, you are, you are in whichever moment you go into the channel, and you need to go first into the channel and then go out for having to have a breakout. You understand? So I go into the channel. Did I open above? No. Did I open above the channel? No. Or below? No. Did I open above? Yes. Is the volatility, which is now in the last 30 bars, 18 pips, you see the 18 there? Above the average of the volatility of the last five periods? Yes. That means that in the last bar, if in the last 30 it's above the last five, the volatility grew proportionally, and it means it's a good moment to expect that there's going to be an, a real, real movement upwards. So it's a very smart moment to enter the trade. So we would have here, I just took this trade just by chance. I didn't prepare it in blue because it's a, a buy trade. OK. And I'm going to put the entry point as well in blue, in blue here. And you can do it with mobile. I don't, I don't care if you're trading it manually. I'm, of course, an algo trader. I would rather have you automated and optimized, which is the next step. But I don't mind if you are uh, manual trading. You're, you love your manual trading. You're watching. You see the signal. You're at work. You just watch every hour. You can do it. It takes one minute to enter this trade, not even one minute. OK, so this is the entry rule. So the setup is. I'll, am I opening above the channel? I'm going to refine this setup later, okay? I'm going to make it more more strong, okay? Because now I didn't tell you, sometimes you open above the channel, now it's only 8 pips, you see, which is great. But what would happen, for example, just as an idea, if you open above the channel, but suddenly you have a very impulsive, you see, this one didn't open, but this one, this is going downtrend, you see, it's breaking down. And it, ha it opens below the channel, but see, it opens 75 pips below. Probably some news there. You're entering the breakout too late. This will, we will work out later. I'm going to refine the entry rule later, uh, which I, I lectured this system before, but I didn't give the full rules. Today, I'm going to give you 95% of the rules that I trade. And I'm, it's going to be stronger now. Because imagine if you enter this trade, it's going to be disastrous. You're entering too late. 70 pips too late. So you are not going to enter always. You're going to enter when there is not too many pips distance for the breakout. OK? In this case, 8 pips, it's fair. And you can catch the movement. If you enter too late, what's going to happen is you're going to miss a lot of the movement, you see? And you're going to enter the trade. Actually, you're going to enter here. We will talk about this later here, actually. When red is above blue, and in this case, you would catch very little, well, still 70 pips, but instead of 150. So, and you need to enter precisely only at the bar open. It's not, it's, it's very precise when we trade uh, trading systems. It's not when you think, oh, yeah, I'm going to enter just five minutes before the hour. No, 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 no. It's a sharp 13 p.m. in this case, server time of the broker. And that's the entry point. It's not one minute later. It's not five minutes before. It's not 10 minutes later. It's exactly at the bar opening. That's very, very important. So you can automate it. So, and the volatility is above its average of the last five periods, which is great. We have an entry signal. OK, so is that clear? Do we have the entry 100% clear? Because you're very silent in the room. Everybody. Just write OK, not OK. OK. Please, everybody write yes, no, medium. Because it doesn't serve if you are going to watch it in video later. You really need to understand it now. It's much better that you understand it now. OK. So Paul, Dave, what about the others? There's a lot of people here. Anthony, Ben, I want your response, your response on this. Did you understand, Karim? 
the other poll. There's a lot of people that don't answer. Okay, then I guess you understood. Okay, so this is the entry rule. Exit rule. In order for to have a, a trading system, we need always to have a stop loss. And I cannot really emphasize it enough because many times we say, okay, I just put a visual stop loss, which is it's a joke. A visual stop loss is not a stop loss. And some people say, yeah, but then the broker sees my stop loss and I rather don't put in, which is absolutely nonsense. You have to put a stop loss. If you are not having a stop loss as you enter the trade, you are not having a trading system, period. So there is two choices here to put the stop loss, okay? A, I'm going to put you the blue slide now. The first way to put the stop loss, which is very simple, is on the contrary side of the channel. That means I'm making here a buy. So what is the furthest part of the channel? It's this one. It's the lower channel in this case. So I would put it in red here. This could be my stop loss. Possibility number one. In this case, I have a stop loss which is 28, 29 pips, okay? And I'm gonna get in this trade probably up to here, 48, which is gonna be a two to one trade, which is gonna be great, and I'm gonna make in five hours good money. I'm gonna make like 2%, because if I'm risking 1% in this trade, and I'm getting double of the stop loss, which we'll see now, I will get 2% in five hours, which is very, very, very good money, okay? We don't risk more than 1% on average, this I will explain in other webinars for those who couldn't come to the presentation in to the course in one more gate. Okay, so the thing here is possibility number one, the opposite part of the channel. Okay, possibility number two, I'm gonna have always a fixed stop loss, you know, which is gonna be a fixed amount of a fixed amount of pips whatever, which can be optimized, I would recommend around 35 pips, 40 pips, that's what we got from our optimizations, and it depends very much on the pair, but I would say for the for the cable, not more than 40 pips far, if you want to have to have a fixed stop loss, you can use both, and what is very important is that if you're having the dynamic stop loss, which is the definition of the opposite side of the channel, if, for instance, you have a stop loss, for example here, you would have entered the trade uh, here, you see, because this is the first candle that breaks below the channel, and blue is above gray, you see that? In this case, you would have your stop loss at 100 points. I would not enter the trade. It's very important that you filter out, if you have this dynamic stop loss, of putting the stop loss on the opposite channel, that if it's further than 50 pips or whatever, this we do in the robot, I will show you later how it looks in the robot, we filter the trade out. If you're trading manually and you say, you see an opportunity like this one, but you say your stop loss is gonna be 100 pips, it makes no sense, even if you have an incredible breakout, it makes no sense that you risk 100 points to get 100 points. You get that? So don't enter those trades. I would say beyond 60 pips, dynamic stop loss, don't enter. Okay, that clear? That's a clear example where not to enter the trade. Okay, these examples which are very ranging, false breakouts you see here, we will filter them out later with another trick I will give you. But let's see for example here, we, ha we are entering the channel, well we are not really entering the channel here. Here we are entering the channel. First candle that opens here, it could be a, an entrance. The stop loss is just 22 points, it's fair. You can do that, right? You can look for more examples. Here, for example, the stop loss is 37, it's acceptable. I'm just talking in case you trade manually. If you trade automatically, you will filter this out. You will put a filter maximal stop loss distance, you could call it, this variable. I will show you later in the robot. And you would not enter this trade. Obviously, if the stop loss is at 100 pips, you're gonna get 60 pips, it makes no sense, because in breakout, we want to catch long. The breakout is the beginning of a trend, right? And we want to catch long movements. 
not short movements, okay? So that's very, very important as a filter. We will talk later about it because this would be the first filter. I'm going to give you three filters. This would be the first one. And uh, in this case, we would enter the trade. We have now clear entry points. We have now clear exit points, either dynamic stop loss, which is at 20, 30 points. If you want to go ahead and put your Meta Trade of Axi Trader uh, in your, on your screen, even if you don't have the template, you can follow the exact entry point, and the exit point would be either here or here. Okay? Very good. First exit point. Second exit point, and this is very, very, or exit rule. This is very important that you understand that a good trading system has always more than one exit rule. And it's, it's what we call intelligent systems. When you have a, a, let's put it in this words, a stupid system, it becomes a fork system. A fork system is something that just goes to a fixed take profit, fixed stop loss, and nothing in between. And when you trade like this, which many manual traders do, and which is a very big mistake, you're losing a lot of money because you are many times you need to exit before it hits the stop loss, and many, many, many times you need to exit before it hits the take profit. So I'm giving you an additional exit rule, an intelligent exit rule, which tells you, hey guys, when the volatility is getting slow again, it's time to exit the breakout. And what we do here, which is a Consider quite a smart way to do this is having again an oscillator here below, which you have in the template, which is an ATR of half the period. You see, it was here for 30 periods. Here it's 14 periods. 14, sorry, 14 periods, and we are going to check here red over blue. That means that the volatility is decreasing, and in this case, it comes very early. Once it's confirmed, that means at the close of the candle. In the next candle, you see here, here it's confirmed. Next candle is here, red over blue. We need to exit the trade. You, you may say, but there's still a lot of, of money we can take. Yeah, but in this case, we'd rather take these 25 pips because it's already the volatility you see here. It's telling me the volatility is already decreasing. So there's good chances that it turns around. Do you follow? So. This indicator up here is for the entry rule. I'm going to write it here, which is basically very similar to the indicator below, only the period is different. And for the exit, we are also going to check volatility. Decrease of volatility regarding its average, you see here. Okay, oh, I lost it. Okay, I'm going to try again. So. The thing here is, here we have the entry, and here we have the exit. Here's entry. I'm gonna, no, it doesn't write. My goodness, it doesn't stay here. But you, you got the point. We are using basically a similar idea to exit the role and not wait for it. You see that it broke and it reversed. We don't want it to come back. We'd rather take here 20 pips, you see? We exit here, sorry, it was here. And yeah, you have more movement, but we'd rather exit. And it's a very simple system. You just need to take every hour, right? And I want you also with the system, it has also pedagogical purpose. I want you to make the transition from being a manual trader to being an automated trader. And this you can only achieve if you become a systematic trader. So that means you have very clear rules that you follow like a robot. <laughs> you follow. And when you have very precise rules, you trade like a robot, the next thing is you, be, you make a robot. Okay? So in this case, we would exit here. It's 25 pips against 22, whatever. It's a 1-1. One, one. We get here 1%, which is not bad, and that's it. Okay, we, need, we, we wait for the next opportunity, and for example here, we don't have an opportunity because it tells us it opens above, right? That blue is below gray. There is not enough volatility, and this indicator filters the trade out, you see? Because it needs to come back to the channel and open, which it, it does here, actually. 
and this is a well, this is a, not, a nothing trait because this trait goes out with 0, 4, which is nothing. It goes out here, you see, when the red is again a, a very fast maybe, but here it opened blue above gray, and here it closed. So we stay break even. It's a trade which didn't hit the stop loss, which was here. Just follow the charts, check the charts, and, and you will see. And I'm going to improve the system even, even further now. But I don't want to make it too complicated. We have already five rules. If you remember the rules, first rule is uh, it must open above the, the channel. Second rule, blue above gray, remember? Third rule, stop loss, opposite direction. Fourth rule, exit, sorry, four rules. Red above blue, and the fifth rule is if the stop loss is too far away, remember that filter, don't enter the trade. So do you understand, everybody in the room, please help me. Do you understand the five rules? Because I cannot make it even more complicated if you don't understand all five rules. Okay, great. Dave is very fast, which makes me happy. Paul, it's always the same people. I want the other people that were not in one more gate, the new names. And please interrupt me, because you need to really understand all five rules. Otherwise, you cannot trade this. OK, great. So so here, here the, the smart thing, which I want you to understand, is that the trigger. What we have here is that we are comparing the volatility to its own average, to its own mean. And it's a very, very smart idea because usually people just talk regarding volatility as an absolute value, right? And people use ATR. ATR is average to range. It calculates in the last 30 periods. It's basically very easy to be done. For example, in Excel, I would take every candle every bar, and for example, this bar has an uh, ATR of 14 pips, you see that? And this bar, which is quite big, in one hour, the price, the cable moved 58 points, which is quite a lot. And in this bar, the ATR of this candle is 10 points, which is very little, at 12 a.m., which is in the middle of the London session, but for some reason, it was actually 12th November, it was actually it was actually yesterday, okay? So for some reason, it didn't move much at 12. You see, so I take the last 30 candles and I make the average, and that's what it tells me here. And it tells me here, for example, on average, you moved 17 pips in the last 30 hours. And here on average, you moved 20 pips. So it's quite stable, if you see over the last days, the volatility, it's quite stable. And here we have a very high peak of volatility which was on the 6th of November, I guess it was the first Friday, right? And we have 25 points, which is much more over the last 30 bars. And here we have 27 pips over the last 30 bars. So the smart idea here is I'm comparing this to its own moving average. This is the moving average of the ATR. It's a bit complex. If you don't get it at the first explanation, just take your time, take the template at home, and try to understand the basic idea behind it, because it's a bit of it's simple but complex, but it's very powerful. So I want you to understand that the yellow, the, sorry, the gray line is the moving average of the IATR. It's not the moving average of the price, you see? So sometimes the moving average of the last five periods is above the ATR of the last 30 periods, and sometimes it's below. <coughs> this helps me to find very precise moments for breakout, okay? On the opposite, we have here an ATR of the last 14 periods, the volatility of the last 14 periods, the blue line, and its own moving average, the red line, which tells me when the volatility is getting uh, low again as after it was high, and I should get out of the trade, okay? So you can play a lot with this, and once you have the template, you can even go here and you should play with it, and you should change the period, and you should say, okay, instead of a 30 period, I want to try on a 30 period. That would be kind of manual optimization, okay? 
and you see how it changes. You see, and let's say for example you want it faster, and you want an 18 period. You see, and you are now checking the volatility only of the last 18 hours, and it will change your trading system. And you can make visual adjustments, but uh, I may give you the parameters that are not trading very well for the Australian New Zealand and Australian Swiss over the last three months. I'm going to show you the audited accounts and this is going to be part of the end of this, this course of today. Okay, so I want you to understand that there is a very strong logic behind this and even if you don't get it right away because it took me also time to understand it, just focus on this at home once you have, if you have the template and just try to play around with it and to understand how the volatility relates to its own mean, to its own average on a different period and you will understand that there is a very, very strong logic behind it to filter out good breakouts. So was this clear? Because that's like the core part of the system. We still have 20 minutes to go. We can do one hour, we, we wrote like one hour or 65 minutes for every course, for every webinar, okay? But I really need you to understand that that's the core basic idea behind this, this trading system. Because every trading system has a unique, powerful idea. It, 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 it has only five rules, but the, the power of this trading system is this indicator. Okay? Good. A filter is something that is additional. It's something, once I have a core trading system, I just put another layer of logic and I add a, one more trading rule or two more trading rules or three more trading rules to make it better and to filter out bad trades and to keep more good trades, okay? To keep positive trades said in a simple language and to let the bad trades go, not enter those trades. So I'm gonna give you three filters. I give you already one, so probably it's gonna be like four filters in total. Some are very simple to understand, some are not that simple, but it's gonna make your trading system much more strong because some of the trades that we would be trading uh, and we shouldn't trade, will really fall out and we will not be trading them anymore. So again, a blue slide, that means this is the very precise trading rules of this trading system and I hope that the new guys are not lost, <laughs> okay? And it's very, very important that you, you start changing, I, I know I repeat that too often, your mind to a systematic trading way, okay? Don't trade anymore just thinking it's a training and I just enter the trade, it's gonna lose your account. Okay, you need to have a system and that's what we are building here. So, first of all, an hourly filter. What is an hourly filter? I'm just not gonna trade some hours. Some hours that are really not very strong uh, or were really, even if I have the signal of the, of the indicator, uh, I know over the last nine years that these hours give bad trades, I'm just gonna filter them out, okay? And I would say that you need at least to take the six worst hours, the six worst must be completely taken out in this trading system, and you could take maximally the worst 12 hours. Don't take the, the worst 18 hours because you are over-optimizing the system. So if you're doing manual trading, you have a problem here because you would need to go with a template and you would need to go trade by trade, watch at least one year backwards, right? And you would need to watch, okay, this trade is at 1 p.m., you see it here, right? And you would need to look for the next trade, which it's not this one because we filter out, probably this one, okay? And you would check the hour and it's entering at 4 p.m. and you would see the trade is profitable or not, doesn't earn much, 18 pips, and then you would find out that, for example, the best hours are 9 a.m. or on the cable, definitely the opening of the London session, it's gonna be a good hour for breakout. The closing of the London session, it's gonna be a good hour, right? And probably the night is not gonna be very good if it's not the opening of Tokyo. So just by logic, uh, if you're trading the, the cable, don't trade it in the night, okay, the opening and trade it at the best hours, which should be normally 8, 9, 10, 11 a.m., okay? But you need to do a back test. And here's where the automated trading is really an advantage 
because you just program the filter hours and you just optimize it and I'm going to show you how it looks later and you just take out the bad hours and you just know or learn how to optimize which we'll do in the next session actually we will be doing an optimization of another trading system which comes also, also in the pen drive I will teach you what the parameters mean and you'll be doing it manually at home and you can follow I, I, I please ask you next time to install those who have the pen drive to install the historical data of euro dollar and pound dollar in AxiTrader on your platform and you can follow on another screen if you have two screens you can follow the webinar on one screen and on the other screen you follow exactly what I'm doing and then you you grab it better, grasp it better okay so that's my recommendation for the next session which is going to be when, when is the next session Olga next next Monday or Tuesday I forgot but I will tell you later when the next session is going to happen. Okay, so please install the historicals for that and we will be doing exactly those steps of optimizing that we cannot do now manually, take the bad hours. Okay, first filter, hours, take the six worst hours of the trading system. Second filter, this is the orange line which I took before out. You see here, I'm going to take the orange, The I'm going to take now the the pink, uh, sorry, the violet line away. This orange line is nothing else than a moving average. In this case, 90 periods, you see that? And what it tells me is, I'm gonna trade only those opportunities where the channel is above the orange line. I'm gonna only do buy breakouts. And when the channel is below the orange line, you see that? Here the channel is below the orange line. Oops, it's too big. But that's a very good trading opportunity here. The channel is below the orange line, but probably the stop loss is too far away. Yeah, it's 100 pips, so I wouldn't trade that either. What it does, it filters out trades that are not going in the direction of the major trend. You see that? I have here the major trend of the last 90 hours. It wouldn't make sense to trade this against the major trend. So you're looking at the major trend to say, okay, is the channel in order aligned above the whole channel, above the orange line, then I'm considering buy trades. And if the channel is below, like we saw here, then I'm going to consider only here sell trades. We have here a very clear order, right? It's a pity it doesn't get into the channel here, but here it does. You see, we are very clearly in a downtrend because the channel is below the orange line. It goes into the channel and here is a very clear opportunity. Scarcely, you see the blue over gray, just very little above, but enough for the signal. We have here 20 pips, okay, and the exit is here, and we catch 60 pips. So we did a three to one trade here. And this filters out a lot of trades. You're going to trade far less than before, but it's called a trend filter. It's called a trend filter. You see here the trend uh, indicator, the moving average. It's not working as an entry rule. It's working as a filter. It's additional. Okay, it's no part of the entry rule. It's only to tell you this entry I take it, this entry I don't take it. Okay. And the third filter, which is not in the slide, is the, dis the distance of the stop loss. So we already said it, that if the stop loss is too far away, in this case 20 pips is very acceptable, right? It's below 50, 60 pips, which I told you, that should be the maximum distance of the stop loss. I can trade it, okay? And it's great because in around six hours, I've made already 60 points, risking 20. So I have tripled my risk, I have 3R, what we call three times the risk is 3R, okay, that's the terminology of Van Tharp. It's a hedge fund, uh, he has very good books, Van Tharp, it's written, it's written like this, and he always uh, speaks in terms of R, uh, how many R's am I getting, how many, how many, how many, how many times I'm getting my risk, okay. 
van Tharp with P at the end. Okay, so we are talking here 3R, which makes total sense to trade, and thanks to the trend filter. So everybody understood what a trend filter is, everybody understood what an hourly filter is, and everybody understood what is a maximal stop loss distance filter. We have three filters. I want the new guys to say yes or no. Ben, Anthony, lots of people here that don't talk much. James, Priscilla, what's going on? Say at least you got it, Anthony, you got it, that's great. Because I don't mind explaining it again, really. Okay, so now we have a already five, six, seven rules, right? It's all clear, James, I'm happy, Paul. Very good. That's great, Paul Pierre, I'm happy you got it. And many of you have the templates, so you can go ahead, whatever. I cannot give recommendations as to when to trade or not, but uh, the trade is made with real trading. I mean, you can trade it if you want for one or two weeks on demo and then go ahead and trade it live. Otherwise, it's the only way you, uh, you're gonna learn it. I'm gonna put one more rule, and we have already a trading system with seven rules. We shouldn't overcomplicate the trading systems, I say, my experience with robots is that if it has two, three rules, it's it's worthless. Uh, many books uh, say that you should make very simple trading systems. I never found a trading system with three rules that makes money over the long term. I'm sorry, I'm not agreeing with this at all. And you shouldn't overcomplicate it. I would say between something in between seven, six, seven rules up to 20 rules, it's fine. Uh, 20 is sometimes too many rules but I would say that's a good rule of thumb, okay? So now we have seven rules, okay? And I think everybody in the room understood it, which is great. And there's a, a typo here. And what we want here is, a, sorry, the T was wrong. What we want here is now to deal a little bit with the position management. As we're taking a bit of a trend, it's not a trend system, it's a breakout system, but we take the trend that creates the breakout, right? We want to secure the wins through a trailing stop. We want to be moving the stop loss along the earnings. So you only need to take your mobile, your cell phone or whatever, and every hour check if you can move the stop loss. Just move the stop loss. It's very easy to trade. That's the lovely part of this trading system. And once your mind is made like a robot, you will want to automate it. And you have the rules. I will give you the forum where you can find programmers. There have been programmers also in One More Gate, if you've got their phone numbers. If you do my education, I'm sure several of the people coming here will program. And just make friends. That's my recommendation always, because that's the cheapest way to make trading systems into robots. And it's the best way to, to exchange. I think networking is very, very important in, in automated trading. So we will have here a trailing stop that wor works this way. We, we we use now the the famous uh, I'm gonna load it up again I'm gonna upload it again the template so you see one more time how I do this and we have finally the the violet line which now will make sense and let's see if I have this trade I had before if not I need to find it that was the trade we didn't want to trade that one and just get used after you see so many charts. I don't know where's my trade. It was around here, if I don't remember wrongly. Or maybe here, whatever. I'm gonna take this one. And I kind of traded this one because the trend filter doesn't allow me, you see? The trend, it should say only sell signals, you see, because uh, orange is above the channel, so it gives me a buy signal, and it should take only sell signals, so I cannot trade this one. But here I can trade it. Here I have the channel organized properly, but the blue is not above gray, not enough volatility. Great, it's filtering out all this ranging moment. You, you, I, I really ask you to study the template, watch the charts, get used to it because it's the best way to become a trading system analyst. You need to take templates, you need to study different trading systems 
and don't fall in love with one single trading system. My recommendation is you should at least trade four different ways. You should trade breakout, trend, scalping, and ranging together. And this is very difficult to make for a human person. You cannot be watching five minute charts on scalping, one hour charts on breakout, uh, I don't know, H4 charts on trend systems, and you need to sleep as well. So you will end up loving them robots, but you will come by yourself to this conclusion. Okay, nobody's going to force you in this direction. So, let's find just a trait that serves. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay. No, again, not enough volatility. You see it? There is no opportunities here. I should have prepared it better. Sorry for that. I'm quite an improvising guy regarding this. Okay, here, I would need to wait here, which is too late. And here we go. We have the trend above. Okay, it's a very bad opportunity, but we also need to watch trades which are not beautiful, right? Okay, here we have the stop loss at 28 points, right? Blue is above gray. Very little above, but enough, you know? A bit above here, the blue above the gray, and it broke above below the channel, right? And what we're doing here is we are the stop loss. I can actually take the stop loss, I can steal the stop loss from the other trade basically. And I have here a say sell signal, so I'm gonna put it red, okay? And th what I do is I will move with this orange, uh, sorry, with this violet line, the stop loss. But there's three ways to do it. I can just wait till we, till we are at break even. That means when the blue, when the blue at break even of the entry point, right? So I would only start moving the stop loss here, right? When it's, the, when the pink, it's beyond the entry point. You see the entry point was here. I don't know if you see that. If not, I'm gonna draw it. I usually draw the entry points in gray color and the exit points in green color, the targets, oops, sorry, this was supposed to be this line. So this is going to be the entry point, it's going to be gray, you see that? This is gray, this is the stop loss, and my target, in this case I don't have a target, okay, we could even complicate the system with a target. and. There is a question, Karim. The system is working on one hour time frame, Karim. You see, I'm always putting one hour time frame because I don't really want to spend time watching the screen every 15 minutes. So it's on a one hour time frame. It's for free. If you become a, a client of Axie Trader, you get the template for free. Okay, so here we go. And we developed this trading system and we automated it. And I will show you later the back tests of the trading system and the forward test as well as the results. But I need to explain the trailing stop. That's the last rule. And then we go to the results. We are getting a bit late, guys. We are already at one hour in the in the course. If you have a little bit of patience, we'll finish like in five or ten minutes. I think nobody wants to leave the room anyway. I think it's quite interesting. So okay, so the thing is that. Only when the, when the violet is beyond or below the gray, I would start moving the trailing, you see? So I would basically get very few points here, but I would, get, I would secure myself 15 points here. That's one way of moving the trailing stop, and it's explained here. It's up to break even. I can move it in the negative part, okay? I can start it once it's beyond break even, which I did right away, right now. Or I can start the trailing stop after I earned so and so many points. And this we programmed, and it varies completely from pair to pair. It's very, very interesting. Sometimes in the, if the pair is very flexible or very liquid, let's say, it's very volatile, it moves a lot, it's better to start the trailing stop after 25, 30 pips earned. Because the problem with trailing stops is that we activate it very often many, too early. And then we are really uh, losing, pos pos in this case it was okay because on the next candle it went against and I got my 15 points here and it's not a fantastic trade anyway 
yes, by visual look, but of course, I'm watching it like this. The reality is when you're trading, you see this only. You enter the trade, right? And then you see the next candle, and then you see the next candle, and then you are out here, right? Because you already moved the trailing stop here. Actually, you 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 earn very little pips here, less than 15. Okay, but I, I just want you to play with this line, which is nothing else than a moving average shifted seven hours to the right. Okay, so what we have done here, which is a very smart idea to use trailing stops in general, we trading system analysts do, is instead of taking the moving average of the price the way it is, we just displace it to the right seven hours, four to nine hours, it's written in the, in the, in the rules, and once we move it, anyway, Karim, uh, you can you can watch the video. It's going to be on our channel. Don't worry about that. You can stop it, and uh, it's probably going to be uh, forming a course on a platform that is uh, having courses in English. Uh, we are going to break it up in 10 minutes videos and with more explanations, and it's going to be a, a probably a free course. So I will I will send you the link once it's done in a course format. Okay. I don't understand the question. What market structure does it work? It works, I, I, I'm going to guess your question, it works on everything that breaks. It works perfectly on indices. It would work very well on the DAX. It would work very, very well on the brand, but you must be very, very careful on the brand because you have a lot of false breakouts, okay? And it works lately very well on the Aussie crosses, like Aussie Swiss and Aussie New Zealand, Aussie TV, okay? I'm going to show you the results on those two later, and actually I can show them now, and we come back later to the, this is the result, it's a 5%, that's on one per, over around almost 30 trades, I think, uh, of the last three months since August, it made us a 5% on the Aussie New Zealand, Aussie Swiss, and this is the result very good on the last uh, 15 days on the Aussie New Zealand, and together, just on these two pairs, it's a 12%, with a 3% drawdown. Okay, that's the, that's the results audited of the account, and I'm going to show you now uh, the back test, which I have here over the last, the only problem, I, I didn't manage to translate the back test into English, they're going to be in Spanish, but just don't look at the, just look at the figures only, okay? And this is a back test from 2005 till today. That's the trading system on, let me put it, adjust the screen size, one second. Let me try to adjust here the screen size because I need to, just for the recording, to adjust it. Sorry for that. Okay, I'm done. And it has incredible results over nine years in backtesting. That's the first part. And the other one, the Aussie New Zealand, we traded on, we tried always when we do a new trading system, we tried on as many pairs as possible, around 35 pairs. Uh, I know some students have traded it on brand successfully. They have traded it as well on, on DAX. I'm not the big expert in the indices, I need to say it, I prefer to be honest on that one, and that's the back test over nine years on the Aussie New Zealand on one hour time frame, which gets confirmed by the results we got in, we got on the forward account, and it's a very simple trading system, I mean you really don't need to be watching the, the you can trade it manually, you know, and uh, this is a trading system we actually are working on it stronger in the last three months. Uh, we have over 900 strategies that I need to program, and I don't have enough uh, ex-students, people that went through my education to do so much work, and I'm always very keen to get people on board that did my education, that understand my trading method, my way of trading to do and try new systems and basically on an exchange basis. I, 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 I network a lot uh, without money in between, just information as long as there is uh, sensible work being done. So this is a trading system we are just recently trading. 
and I found it so simple to explain that I, uh, I just use it for my lectures recently. Okay, so uh, is it clear how we use the trailing stop? Uh, possibility number one, we need to wait that uh, the pink line is already beyond the entry point, then we activate it, or we wait that the pink line is so and so many pips. Let's say, for example, here, let's say, for example, if we would have here an entry, I need to find one that complies with all the rules, which this one doesn't again, you see, because it's hardly, there hasn't been lately the pound, you see, very many good opportunities. Maybe I really should change to something more, I don't know about gold. We can try, why not? Maybe in gold we will have a surprise and we will have here really good opportunities lately. Yeah. Here we see a good opportunity. I don't know how far is the stop loss here. Wow, it's in the limit, right? But that could be a good opportunity. Not because I saw this candle, right? But that could be a good opportunity in gold. And the thing is that you activate this line once you enter here the trade, once you are beyond the entry point after break even, the next candle you move the stop loss here, the next candle you move the stop loss here, the next candle you move it here and you're out. But you are very, very you miss this 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 part, right? But the good thing about the trailing stop is you're securing earnings. So you need to watch it. You need to maybe trade it without trailing stop and then with trailing stop and just compare because that also depends on the appetite, the appetite of the trader. Some people, they prefer to catch this big movement and some people, they prefer to secure this, this pips, right? This 65. It's, uh, it has to do with your psychology, I would say, with your personality. So I would say this is an alternative rule. I very often trade the robot without trailing stop, and these results were without trailing stop. Okay, so but I give you this alternative rule. So you have the fourth leg. You have now position management. We have entry rules, right? We have exit rules. We have filters, and we have position management. We have a table with four legs. It makes sense, right? And that's great. So I would I would consider that. A you can do it with, with whichever way suits you better, okay? With trailing stop or without trailing stop. Okay, Karim, an automated trading system is exactly the same that I show you, and I'm very happy you're asking because many people are silent in the room. Exactly the same rules I showed you made into a robot. It's, it's a trader, you are not paying any salaries, it's watching for the same opportunities, it's watching 24-5 for the same rules, watching, do I have a breakout? Am I above the channel? I'm going to answer you, Paul, Pierre, in, in a second. You just give me a, a second. It's a very long question. <laughs> okay, and we just automate it, and that's the beauty about it, Karim. We really recommend you to come to the next venue we have in London. It's going to be in one more gate, one more time. I'm going to put you here the link. I, I know many people registered. That's already the the link, it's going to be on the 15th of January, even if you were to the last one, I always explain new things, and I'm going to put you the link, I don't have the link, if you if you happen to have the link, Olga, the short link, just to give, them, give it to them, if you can send it to me by email, okay, and I strongly recommend you to come to the lecture, because it's going to be like 12 hours lecture, and you will understand the whole thing about it, but meanwhile, I, you can trade it manually, Karim, and just try it out, try the trading system, and, and the important thing is that you guys stop trading discretionarily, you need to really trade with a system, whichever system, I don't care if it's manual or automated. So Paul, uh, you want me to explain how mechanically the trailing stop is activated once one of the rules for it are met, I can see where you are moving in the line, but how is that communicated to the computer? Okay, it's very simple. Uh, how it's communicated to the computer, there is only two choices. Either you watch every hour, Paul. You need to watch once it's activated the trailing stop every hour if you need to move it. And that's very bad in the night hours. You need to put an alarm every hour. <laughs> that's the truth. And you need to watch if you need to move the trailing stop. 
option B, you get a programmer, get it into a robot, which is what I showed you, and this is what I have here, down here. I converted this into a robot, I called it C6, we just put letters to the robot, that's the version 11, and I don't remember on what spread we're trading it, and I don't think I have the right parameters, but basically I I can just back test it, I don't even have, I'm, I'm not sure I have the right historicals for also New Zealand, and I just back test, trade by trade, well I don't have the historicals. No, I have the wrong lot size here. And this is my robot. This is my robot. I filter the hours, the hours I don't like. See, it's all automated. And what I explained to you, and this answers Karim's question and Paul Pierre's question, what I did is I just turned this system into a trading system. I'm going to give you a website, uh, which is MQL Forum which is uh, an international website, you can post an ad there, but I strongly recommend you, you you do our education because that way you will save a lot of headaches just trying trial and error, finding the right programmers and, and stuff. That's the website, MQL Forum. I'm going to put it here in the chat. You go here to freelance, you put an ad, and to make a trading system is going to cost you like $100. This is not a complex trading system. You tell the programmer it has nine rules. These are the rules. You can show him screenshots. You can give him the template, and you'll have the robot. Okay, but I would say trade it yourself first manually, adjust it. Maybe you get additional ideas to the trading system to make it better. Yeah, you you prefer the robot. Okay, Paul, I understand that. Right. Only thing I I'm not giving out this robot. I may consider to put it in the offer to the guys that come to Madrid, I will consider it because it took us a lot of programming, a lot of coding, and it was done by one of my ex-students, and basically I have here all the rules, and it's very simple, you know, I can move here the uh, average, moving average, instead of 30, I can put here 20, and then it can back test it, and it can tell me over the ni last nine years how much money it made, and I need to be watching every hour. But I would recommend, even if you do the robot, that you trade it. I, I would recommend trade it for a couple of months, at least three months, so you get used to the trading system, so you see how to improve it, so you get some ideas, so you see wrong trades, so you make some money as well, right? And you, you learn how to adjust visually the template, just move the moving average, because it's very pedagogical. Even if not every trade is going to be a winning trade, of course, I really recommend that you make this transition from manual to automated, okay? Just by trading. Okay, that way, that way you, you, you will have a better grasp of, of how it works. Okay, so another question. Okay, so just to let you know, many people already know, uh, I, I couldn't put the pound uh, symbol before. We'll have the full education in February. We still need to gather with all the interested people about the dates. It's going to be in, in Spain. We have our trading lab. Uh, uh, that's a prize. And after that, we have a follow-up of six months. If you want more information, just you only need us to, uh, to add us to Skype, to uh, the FX method. It's our Skype nick. Or just write an email to the attention of Olga, uh, all about expert advisors at gmail.com. If you want more information, if you want the full education, I would recommend that you come to all the webinars and you'll get another trading system in the other webinar. I've been lecturing in many, many countries. That was in the biggest expo in Italy. And this is one group of international students that come over to, to our trading lab. This is our terrace. This is one moment break with tapas, all inclusive. Okay, and with a very good uh, white wine we, we, we brought with the tapas and this is inside the trading lab with the students okay and it's uh, it's, it's it's not we are lecturing in, not in an hotel we are lecturing where we trade we spend actually 50% of the time lecturing and 50% of the time trading I'm very sorry I respond very slowly to the emails Olga also you need to understand we are not just a trading school we're really very involved with uh, 
trading system development, we are working on trading, and that's why we sometimes reply late. It's not that we are not interested in your emails, it's that we're trading, okay? So this is just one example of one international course we had over here. If you're interested to know more, uh, just free, feel, feel free to ask us. And I hope you really understood the full trading system. We'll send you an email with all the videos that we recorded today, and you can trade uh, the VCB on your own, try to trade it on other pairs, try to trade it on other things like brand, like gold, like silver, on your own risk, of course. And if you want the pen drive, it's for free. Just open the account, just send, that, send us an email, and we'll put you in touch with Axie Trader in case you already don't know their address or the phone number, and you can get uh, the pen drive and start trading systematically. It's very important you make the transition, really, that you don't make blind trading, as they call it, that you start thinking like a systematic trader, okay? So that's it for now. I'm very happy you came over, and we're gonna meet uh, very soon. Uh, I, I don't remember, what was that, Olga? Can you confirm me, the next webinar? Yeah. I'm very happy, Paul Puer, that it was more understandable. I know you already heard this, but I didn't explain it so much in detail, so I thought that I needed to re-explain the trading system one more time, so you had the chance really to grasp the full complexity of the, of the trading system, because it's not that easy. If, you, if it's the first time you see a full trading system, because majority of the lecturers give you only parts and pieces of trading system, and I consider that to be quite a, quite a I wouldn't say a scam, but you don't get the full thing. So I gave you the full thing. Uh, it's not a perfect trading system. It's a profitable trading system. It needs work, it needs optimization. You need to find the right instruments for it, and you can as well try on M30. You can check it out, and you can as well go for H4, but H4 is gonna need a very much further stop loss, but uh, if you're trading it manually on four hour candles, you have the benefit that you only need to watch the mobile, you can put an alarm every four hours, so that's also a benefit, okay? But it's more profitable in hourly candles. So I'm very happy you came, and I see you next week. Bye-bye.